All right, Coach, start off with your overall thoughts on tonight's game. Well, it was a grind, and it wasn't pretty, but um, I'm really just happy about it. We, we had some game goals for this, and we met them all, and that's why we won, because we held them to uh, under their normal average of 75 points or 74 points, and we held them to 60. So I'm just super pleased with that side of the ball. And honestly, Idaho State's physical team, um, and then coming off this tough stretch, how do you think the – Team responded to well, that. Well, they were tired of losing. I, you know, I could sense it, and we had a great game plan going into this game in terms of knowing what they ran, how they ran it, how we were going to defend it, and everybody was really locked into it. They are really physical, but you know what? I'm learning about my team. So are we. You know, with Ali Meyer leading 15, top 15 in the nation or top 13 in the nation in rebounding, um, it's just proving that she's pretty physical. And so, um, I, de I definitely think we're getting more of a reputation for that. Um, shoot, sorry. Uh, just kind of what was your thought process as you watch kind of those final seconds go through? Yeah, you know, a tie game. We've been in that situation a few times. Um, so I was just hoping for a stop. I was going to call timeout no matter what, but they wanted to get the last shot. And, um, you know, I was watching the action happen, and I, I told Crystal in the time I was like, you've got to lock in to number three. No matter what you do, you just got to finish this game guarding number three. And she denied her, made her work for the, for the catch, and then Savvy was there right to help, right when uh, number three wanted to go to the rim. And, and it was a good call. She was, she was planted. Um, she extended with the arm, and I thought it was the right call down the stretch. And so I'm just super, super proud of us getting that stop there and actually – changing the game because if we don't get that charge we don't get free throws and then the technical doesn't happen and we don't win that game it's going to overtime so I'm just happy we got it done in regulation and how big of minutes has just Abby been able to bring off the bench in these past few games and really help the front court you know I watched last year's um, conference game con uh, big skies conference game against Idaho State and Abby did such a great job she's so solid um, she plays within herself she gives us a little bit more off the bench because she can shoot the 15-foot shot, and she's really smart. She's got a great basketball IQ, and I'm just super proud that she always puts the team first. If she plays two minutes, if she plays 20 minutes, and I never get attitude from her. She's always team first, and I'm just it's paying off. She's also one of the first kids in the gym every single day, and that's just what you need in your culture and for us to be successful and to be successful in March. And final one, kind of get through this tough stretch of four and eight days. Um, how do you think the team can grow from this? Yeah, grow is the word. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes you have peaks and valleys in the year, and we kind of hit a little bit of a valley this week, I felt like. Um, we were coming riding high, coming home off of five wins. I didn't think we were always playing exceptionally well, but we were figuring out how to win. Um, this week we just took a dip. We really took uh, a dip in our offense and some of the turnovers and just fatigue, you could see. And so really it's just kind of going back to the drawing board, getting back to the basics, pass, move, screen, work together. And if we do that, I think we're going to be just fine. All right. Thanks, Jenny.